I'm Mike Embley. And I'm Sarah Coburn. This is BBC News from BBC World. Systematic misrepresentation. An American think tank says the Bush administration deliberately overstated the threat posed by Iraqi weapons. Opposition strikes close down much of Haiti's capital as protests continue. We're richer, but we're no happier. A new report says the Earth cannot sustain the growth in global consumerism. And in business, accounting firms act to halt the contagion of the Parmalat scandal. Very warm welcome to BBC World News. We have for you an hour of international news, business and sport. The White House has again been forced on the defensive over its justification for the war with Iraq. A prominent centre-left think tank in the US. Christopher Flavin, president of the think tank, the World Watch Institute. After months of negotiation, Libya is expected to sign an agreement in Paris shortly, providing compensation for the bombing of a French airliner over Niger in 1989. Families of victims have been seeking a sum comparable to the $2.7 billion agreed for those killed in the Lockerbie bombing in 1988, which was also blamed on Libya. But the figure agreed with the French relatives is reported to be well short of that figure. Morocco has pardoned 33 people, including radical Islamists, political opponents and journalists. It now says there are no more political prisoners in its jails. Among those pardoned by King Mohammed was the satirical journalist Ali Lambrabe, who was sentenced last year to three years in jail for insulting the monarchy. The Turkish Prime Minister, in talks with Turkish Cypriot leaders, has urged him to set up a new government as soon as possible to help revive peace talks over the divided island. Turkey is under pressure to help end the division of Cyprus before May, when the Greek Cypriot side will enter the European Union. Italy's interior minister, Giuseppe Pisano, has warned the country could be facing a renewed threat of terrorist violence. He was speaking at a parliamentary commission in Rome. In the wake You're watching BBC World News. Coming up, the latest international sport headlines. And in decline in modern-day Europe, how the Catholic Church is now trying to attract new worshippers. More on that after this. Welcome back. A reminder of the main international headlines. Systematic misrepresentation. A U.S. think tank says the Bush administration deliberately overstated the threat posed by Iraqi weapons. Opposition strikes have closed down much of Haiti's capital as protests aimed at unseating the president continue. And coming up in World Business Report, accountancy firms act to prevent an Anderson-style collapse. Sarah will be back with more on that in just a moment. But first, senior United States officials say that President Bush will announce plans next. A reminder of the main international news for you. The White House has again been forced on the defensive over its justification for the war with Iraq. A prominent center-left think tank in the U.S., the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, has accused the Bush administration of systematically representing the threat from Iraq's weapons of mass destruction. And Libya is expected to sign very shortly an agreement in Paris which should provide compensation for the bombing of a French airliner over Niger in 1989. 170 people died. That's it from me for the moment. World Business Report with Sarah is here very shortly. Stay with us.